there is a stitch on the Singer Heavy Duty 4452 sewing machine that always impresses my students. So first off, we are going to the straight stitch collection of stitches. You see a straight stitch that's black, a blue stitch that has three stitches next to it. And I will tell you that the blue stitch and the red stitch are the same. So it actually doesn't matter which one you're on. Um, length is set up for you. Put the width back to zero so you actually have that preset. I'm going to take a piece of denim fabric and actually fold it on the diagonal because I want to show you two things about this stitch. Number one, it's not going to look like the picture. It's actually going to look um, three stitches on top of each other. So it's two stitches forward, one stitch back. That's why the fabric's going to go in back and forth, back and forth. It takes three times as long to stitch, yes. But look at what I'm gonna show you. So we'll pull this out. We have a triple straight stitch. And the reason I wanna show you this on the diagonal, which is the bias, is because it has stretch and give and doesn't pop. So it's a very reinforced stitch. It looks very professional because every stitch goes back in the exact same hole. And it also makes it look like you used thicker thread. So instead of rushing to the store and buying a thicker thread, which means you need a bigger needle with a bigger eye, you could have hot pink like me. You could have variegated thread, which is also super fun to work with. You can create the look of thick thread, but without having to do any extra adjustments other than picking the stitch. Now you'll notice that you also have a zigzag version of this. So keeping it on either the blue or the red stitch, you're gonna get a triple zigzag as soon as you add width. Don't forget to add your width. You can have up to six millimeters wide. It almost could look decorative or like rickrack. Uh, definitely try something with some variegated threads if you've got some of those in your collection. But look how beautiful that turns out. So I love that, that stitch, very reinforced. If you have anything you need to stitch multiple times because it needs to not fall apart, instead of it looking like you sewed it three times with three different stitches, just pick the triple straight stitch or the triple zigzag. And with one pass, you'll be done and it is going to be very secure.